Gang, let's do another thing. Okay, so let's bring out our these guys again. Let's take these guys down. Okay. Let's do what we planned on doing, which is let's map out how many countries, right? How many countries the United States have been militarily involved in the last 40 years and how many countries Russia has been militarily involved in in the last 40 years. Okay, I'll give you the ones I know about Russia. In the last 40 years, Russia was in Afghanistan. Okay, Russia was involved militarily in Afghanistan. They are definitely involved in Ukraine. Okay, and they are involved in Syria. Okay, we'll put Syria just here. Am I missing anything regarding Russia? This is the coolest TV ad for risk. I've ever seen Barbs. Barbs says hilarious. Diplomacy. Diplomacy better than risk. Uh, Axis and allies better than risk. So order of games would go. Axis and allies is actually fantastic. But uh, risk is the lowest. It's, it's a good game. It's a fun game. But if you want to kick it up a notch, Axis and allies. And if you want to different version without the dice and a lot of diplomacy and people backstabbing and living daylights out of each other without set parameters diplomacy you need more markers for us we will i got the yellows lined up so united states involved militarily militarily right panama in the last 40 years uh Nicaragua, El Salvador. Okay, you guys fill me in in which other countries in Central America and South America. Vietnam would have been 50 years. We're not going to include Vietnam, Cheryl, because we're going to start it at 1980, not 1970, because 1970 Vietnam would have been in the game as well. But so would Russia. But Russia, I don't think Russia had Russians fighting in there too. Wait. Not done with Russia. Not done with Russia. What else in Russia? Yeah, Axis and Allies uh, provides maps like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 80s on. 80s on. Don't forget Grenada. 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 Where's Grenada? Grenada's here somewhere. It's really small. <laughs> Where's Grenada? I might have gone over it. Oh, there it is, Grenada. Grenada. Okay. Georgia, Moldova. Uh, oh, Russia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Georgia. Was Russia involved in Moldova militarily? Was Russia involved in Moldova militarily? I don't remember that one. Micro twist. Hello, hello. Salutations. Philippines? In the last 40 years, United States? Not about Marcos working out. Mila. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we need confirmation on Moldova. I don't remember Russia being uh, involved in Moldova militarily. Tajikistan civil war. Russia was involved in it militarily? Well, on the 20th day of February, Anthony Blinken visited uh, Kazakh uh, Kazakhstan for cooperation, growth, and connectivity, seeking influence, it seems, in the backyard of Russia. Yeah, and what did Kazakhstan do? They shipped over, they just announced that they're shipping over all their uranium to be kept in Russia. <laughs> what a failure. What a failure Blinken is, right? Enzo, America has been in 19 wars since World War II. Here's a list of the death toll uh, from three of the bloodiest conflicts, the Korean, the Vietnam, uh, and wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. The total death toll, toll of people killed by American troops uh, in all these wars put together is over 12 million. I, I think it would, would it be more? Because there was, in Vietnam, when they were fighting in Vietnam, there was a silent war, not so silent, in Cambodia and Laos, and they killed like 2 million people in Cambodia and Laos together. So I'm assuming it might be more than 12 million, which is crazy when you put the numbers together, right? Man. 
Transistria War, apparently. Really? Moldova. So, where are we? So here as well? It's really small, so it's showing up twice. So they were involved in uh, Transistria. It's a little strip uh, along Moldova's east, uh, eastern uh, border. Big uh, demonstration of Putin and authorities now in Tbilisi, Georgia. Yeah. They're trying to do another color revolution in Georgia. Too bad. Over 20 million. It would be so many. It would be so many. Uh, I reckon Russia and Moldova got into a few skirmishes in 1992, but never got into any major conflict. Okay, we'll count it as Russia being involved. Just about every uh, civil conflict in former uh, Soviet states. But there would be civil war. There would be direct war that Russia was involved in, Cheryl, right? Zare, afternoon, afternoon. Congrats, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean. The U.S. needs to stop getting involved in foreign wars so that uh, uh, we can pay for every redneck to get a pickup truck. I don't know about that. But I did okay, Captain. That's okay. Mod, auto mod zapped it for some reason. Strangely, Russia and Ukraine were involved in, in that war. As allies, were they? Wow. Soviet forces occupied East Germany until 1989. But it wasn't a war. It was an occupation, right? So are we counting that East Germany? Because the wall fell down. Like, we have to make a distinction if, you know, tanks were firing, planes were dropping bombs versus just military being there. If we're going to do military being there, shit. United States has military all over Europe. So if we count every U.S. military base, I think there's 185. I don't have enough of these to put 185 military bases all around the world. We're talking about just actively bombing, right? Uh, Russia was involved in a war in Central African Republic? Really? Russia were obviously uh, dealing uh, the civil wars that follow a break of uh, yeah it, uh, right Libya Yemen and Somalia for the US yeah so let's hit it up Libya Somalia Yemen okay these are the ones I know right Iraq Syria okay. Afghanistan What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, Ukraine. Right. What else? What else? In the last 40 years, United States. What else do we know? Where else? Where else? It's not the same. Yeah. Military occupations is not the same as having a base. Ah, oh, that is true. That is true. That is true. That is true. But that was basically at the end, just leaving. Like there weren't, again, planes weren't dropping bombs. Tanks weren't firing shells, right? Platonic Flores, yes, the Soviet was one of the two bipolar world powers, but the situation now is different. Pax America, uh, after the Cold War, now it may shift to a more multipolar, I agree, it's gonna to go to a multipolar world. In December 1995, the first US ground troops deployed Bosnia, Herzegovina, Arpia, Yugoslavia. I mean, this area, like just annihilated it, right? US has 800 military bases globally? No, not 800, I think it's 180 or something, or is it 800? Yeah, uh, Joe Chicho. Didn't they use drones in Pakistan? Yeah, yeah, they were bombing. Yeah, actually, we're talking about bombing. 
and yeah actively bombing pakistan it's crazy what a nut thing to do right yeah indeed for freedom my butthole I don't defend all regimes or governments, Plutonic Moro says, of the world. But every time a neocon globalist regime change project fails, it is a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Russia-Georgia war was like five days. Yeah, yeah. But we're, we're still counting it as a war. I mean, compare that to 20 years of occupation uh, for NATO countries of Afghanistan. Nine years of occupation, Russia of Afghanistan. Compare that to two wars uh u.s waged in iraq right oh yeah united states missile bomb clinton sudan so i would say that was a war if we're saying bomb the place because in 19 in the mid 1990s mid 1990s in the mid 1990s a ship in the persian gulf i believe right sent a missile on the orders of Clinton, right? Trying to kill Osama bin Laden, which was CIA agent, right? Under orders of Clinton, the United States sent a missile to Afghanistan, killed some civilians, and sent a missile to Sudan and destroyed the only, the only uh, animal pharmaceutical company, okay, that was also producing medicine for people. I believe medicine for people as well in this whole region of africa right they destroyed a pharmaceutical company on the orders of clinton from the persian gulf a ship sent a missile to afghanistan killed innocent people and sent a missile to sudan and destroyed a pharmaceutical company the only one in this whole region because of that because of that there was a lot of cattle a lot of livestock died because they couldn't get the vaccines for their animals and medication for their animals and a lot of people died that was a one missile or a couple of missiles maybe they sent they might have double topped it right that one destruction of a pharmaceutical company killed untold tens of thousands of people maybe millions Monsieur balls 800 military places in other countries which cost an estimated estimated 100 billion annually annually a number that could be much higher depending on whether you count the bases still open in iraq and afghanistan wow really 800 military bases now last time i looked at it military bases was in the early 2000s and it was like i think 185 or 200 Joe Chicho, what would, uh, what could uh, you consider Trump hitting the general from Iran uh, with a drone? Yeah, but that was in Iraq, so we marked it. They haven't, well, Israel has hit Iran with the help of the CIA, but they haven't, thank whatever God you believe in, that NATO, the West, has not attacked Iran. If that happens, gang, load up on food supplies, load up on medicine. You should be doing that anyway right now uh, because the shit just got real, right? Monsieur, American University professor David Vine in his forthcoming book, Base Nation, in which he seeks to quantify the financial, environmental, and human cost of keeping these bases open. Yeah, I know the environmental aspect of it, of U.S. military sites, because I've gone to decommissioned military sites in uh, Yukon and B.C. and Alberta. Okay, decommissioned military U.S. Uh, military sites to do environmental assessment on them and find out how much environmental damage uh, they've released. And it, it was devastating. It was quite huge one of the military sites they had in yukon right they just packed up and left and before they left they dug a gigantic trench and just put 
whatever barrels of whatever they had into the ground and buried it right and it was right beside a river uh, it was right beside a river salmon run river right i did the geophysics work on it right so in yukon it was a it was here's a river right river 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 major salmon run right military base was here it was quite large we did environmental survey geophysics on it the first people to go on well first people are just people do history and stuff right and i found personally i found a huge area where they had dug the ground up and whatever barrels they had that was full of whatever it was they just put them into the ground and covered it up right it went from a natural preserve area salmon run bears places grizzlies we had people stationed to protect us from grizzlies grizzlies there that's how big of a salmon run it uh, river it was right how important it is right and it went from complete nature to level one contamination zone where they cordoned us off and for you to walk in you have to wear a suit right because they don't know what was in there u.s military site right a river leaking containers for since 1960s and the only reason we knew it was there we were sent there was because the backhoe driver at the time canadian backhoe driver at the time i think it was canadian backhoe driver he was a backhoe driver at the time that did the work he was a young kid okay and in the late 1990s environmental stuff was becoming more and more important and he went you know what i did some work for u.s military site that i think that's pretty bad so he reported what he did he didn't know where it was buried he knew it was at the military site and he buried the hole and covered it up and we were one of the first people to go in there and try to find it and we found it okay so as you say 800 military sites one of them would have been here that was the commission 1960s i believe okay see if he's running around everywhere okay uh, okay i want to scroll down i'm just all the way to the bottom gang it's the uh, that way if there's anything directed towards me please let me know food shortages uh enzo yeah just read this there are roughly 750 u.s foreign military bases they are spread across 80 nations crazy Reckon, i mean japan has a few of them for sure but 800 i didn't realize it was that high maybe i looked at it from the major main military bases before recognition regarding food shortages do you think the ohio chemical spill will will really negatively impact the food supply chain like all the farm farmers in that area are crying out yeah yeah i think so and the food supply is going to be tainted right uh not nice not nice very bad very bad very bad very bad i put out a little video uh, in the last few days that was from a segment that we did in the previous either previous one or the one before that mapping global conflicts that i explained because i did environmental work so i explained what might be happening here with the with the trail derailment derailment in east palestine ohio right so you can look that up you should be able to find it just do chicho and uh, uh, train derailment do east palestine you should that video should pop up it should be available in all our four video sharing platforms i think i uploaded them into all of those platforms so preferably go to bitch rumble or odyssey uh, you should be able to find them there easy peasy okay uh, and that would be my take regarding this environmental catastrophe really monsieur thank you very much for the follow salute salute if they store depleted uranium ammo da, 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 da. Yeah, back then it wouldn't have been depleted uranium. Uh, I I know one of them they cracked open. It, it was liquids. They had to take samples and send them off. Luckily, I don't get involved uh, with geophysics. Most of the work we did was in non-intrusive, so I didn't have to deal with the chemicals. Uh, 
U.S. troops were in Haiti. Oh, yeah, Haiti, Haiti, Haiti. Indeed, 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 indeed. Haiti, Haiti, Haiti. Canada, too. Canada was involved in that. 100% Haiti. Were they bombing? They were shooting. They were killing some of the people in Haiti. Uh, we can take it off. The king. We can take it off if you want. But this was definitely a war being waged on uh, citizens of Haiti. There's no doubt about it. But we can take it off. Because it wasn't tanks doing it. So let's take it off since we did the definition. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take it off. Okay. Why not? Yo, I didn't miss the stream this time. Nice. Availability. How are you doing? We're your friend of Slovakia. Slovakia. Slovakia is talking together. I believe the UK has about 150 foreign bases. Really? How many does Russia have? How many does Russia have? And so my wife... Is from the Michalovich. Where is that? Okay. So that's the situation that we see in the last 40 years. These are the wars that the United States was involved in, and those are the wars that Russia was involved in. Okay. And Georgia, someone pointed out, we're not even putting NATO US in there. It, it's, it was definitely a color revolution. Georgia was being armed by NATO, trained by NATO. So this was a five-day war, right? Syria is still going. This was a nine-year war. Ukraine's still going. Moldova was what? How many days did it go? <laughs> like a week, right? Russia has 20 military bases. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. I love the map work. You chose. Well, thanks. I like it too. I love maps. Really. Uh -huh. Russia has about 36 elder, God says. Russia has bases in the Arctic, yeah. Well, they border there. One of the reasons Denmark is involved big time is because of Greenland. That way they have access to the Arctic and Canada as well, right? Is a Russian marker near China, uh, Tajikistan? Um, this one, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. I don't think Russia was involved militarily in Tajikistan. Tajikistan as well like tanks and stuff in the last 40 years yes or no can we get confirmation on that uh, Zara Chicho it is my personal opinion that the financial institutions incentivize nefarious activities all over the world which in if any of those institutions do you think are backing modern day wars as Smedley Butler would say, all wars are bankers' wars. All wars are bankers' wars, right? Now, it doesn't mean your local bank there, like a credit union, but centralized banks and the, the, the money managers, right? That's slowly changing, by the way. That's slowly changing, um, I think, as well. But all wars are bankers' wars. And what did uh, uh, Philip Agi say? Philip Agi say financial, he was a financial hitman, right? So Philip Agi was a CIA officer that was waging war on, helping wage war on Cuba for a long time. I mean, US, we should be putting a yellow here. Oh, Bay of, no, Bay of Pigs was <laughs> before 1980, right? But Philip Agi was a CIA uh, financial terrorist. That's what he called him, uh, himself, right? And he took asylum in Cuba. He defected from the United States to Cuba, right? CIA agent, because he, he was sick and tired of helping to kill people. Okay. So I think all wars are bankers' wars. I'm with Smedley Butler. I live in Denmark for the last five years. Nagushka, my favorite... Uh, Stan is the one from Austin Powers. Da, 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 da. Availability. Russian nuclear sub on coast equals aggression. American sub on coast of China equals freedom. Like words gone mad. Yeah. Yeah. The king. Russia was involved in Tajikistan civil war in the 1990s. Okay. 
Did they have Russian tanks? Fight? See, backing civil war is a different game. This this shouldn't go up as waging war. If you're gonna put backing civil war, then oh shit, Honduras, uh, Bolivia, Bolivia, Venezuela, or for the United States, that would be backing civil war. Unless Russian troops were on the ground and Russian planes were bombing, were they bombing in Tajikistan? Yeah, financial hitman. That was Philip Aji. Uh, it's got a nice tone to it, yeah. Rush, so Russian troops and tanks. Was it officially Russia waging war? I, I need confirmation, uh, the king. I need confirmation for at least one other person. Okay. Before I can put it up. Joe, that is a quote from uh, Wikipedia. So make it, so make of it what you will. Da, 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 da. What was the quote? Oh, here's a quote. Uh, quote, most fighting, so here's a quote. Most fighting in the early parts of the war occurred in the southern part of the country. But by 1996, the rebels were battling Russian troops in the capital city of Dusha. That's a quote from Wiki. <laughs> I don't consider Wikipedia as a source as seconding anything. I take you guys' word over Wikipedia regarding geopolitics and uh, and economics in large part. Data, yeah. Like just straight up math, okay. But politics, no. I wouldn't take that as a second. Uh, that doesn't mean, re that doesn't confirm anything. Plutonic floors. Russia had a lot of power, stability, politics, and interventions after the the solution of the Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Our regular uh, message doesn't hasn't popped up for a while, but free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, because as he said, lies start wars. The truth can start peace, right? He's a journalist. He's a publisher that's been crucified by central power in the Western world because he's been working towards getting transparency and accountability into our world, something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies, right? For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Uh, the king says, okay, Russia was not sending letters. They were sending munitions and tanks. You know how many wars, civil wars, United States, European countries, NATO, has been sending agents, uh, funds, weapons to? So if we're going to do that, all of Africa is going to be, is going to be this. Like all of it. All of it. From from Sierra Leone, where is it? Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone. Oh, I lost it there. From Sierra Leone to oh, everywhere to Congo. I mean, all of this area. Jesus, all of this. Area. It's all gonna be. It's all gonna be. So we can't. We can't include just funding and supplying weapons as war. They have to be actively, the government has to be actively stating that they're bombing, right? We're at war, right? Second half, so yeah. Doxistor, quote, Wikipedia is the best thing ever. <laughs> Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. <laughs> Michael's gone. <laughs> Julian Assange is a hero for God's sake. He deserves to be free indeed. Indeed. The king. I'm going to read your quote, the king. Just because. I, I, you're supplying a rent link, but only me and Mons are allowed to supply a link. But I'm going to read your quote. Uh, quote. July 1993, about 25 Russian border guards were killed in a clash during the second week with Muslim opposition fighters backed by Afghan Mujahideen. Russian Security Minister V. Baronikov stated that, quote, 
an effective defense of the of the borders of the former Soviet Union serves the interests of uh, CIS countries and national interest of Russia he added that the presence of over 200,000 ethnic Russians in Tajikistan placed the region in Russia's direct sphere of influence okay but this doesn't the, the Russia military military uh, deploy actively to go wage war in Tajikistan from what you're saying terrorists killed Russian guards that's not Russia being at war right Did Russia send missiles into Tajikistan and blow shit up the way Clinton sent a missile into Sudan to blow up a pharmaceutical factory? Right? Did they do that? Funding doesn't matter. The king, dude, if you're going to say funding, then fucking all of Africa, you're just this week, just this week, the president of Congo, was it Congo, told the French fucking macron piece of crap hey macron you fucking pieces of crap western european imperialist that keep on saying african nations must be more trans must provide more must do more you fuckers get out right mali just kicked out france if we're going to say supporting fucking france sent soldiers into mali Two years ago, right? But we're not going to put it on. Even though French troops were actively waging war there, I'm pretty sure Russia didn't even do what France did in Mali, right? right? Availability. I'd argue the world has been at war with itself since the beginning of man. The lack of accountability and acknowledgement that we're in perpetual war takes out awareness. The young need to be educated on war and how we can avoid it. 100% agree. Availability. That's why Gore Vidal's book, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace, is a must read, especially for every American. Every American. Okay, it's a short book, thin book. Gore Vidal, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace. Read it. Okay. Read it. Gang. Plutonic Plurus. From a, from a realist school of IR theory perspective, all neighbor countries of Russia are the direct sphere of security concerns of a greater power like Russia plutonic process Joe Joe there doesn't seem to be any resource on the touch civil war available online at least not in English yeah as far as I know if you know my memory might be but I don't remember Russia actively being one Tajikistan okay isn't Tajikistan part of uh, Shanghai cooperation organization C, C or the, no that's a security pact CSTO I think so think so Nagushka hey Macron fuck you <laughs> explore the world Russia didn't use air force or bombings I, I think yeah should we ask chat G <laughs> GPT3 I'm curious anybody have an account there <laughs> sure pop out but I don't I take chat GPT's feedback as seriously as I do Wikipedia's which means I don't right France should uh, should go the Gaul <laughs> again. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, <laughs> please. Uh, I mean, the chat is just a program that cross references the internet and vomits out words. Agreed. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> the king, if you if I told you that the U.S. had troops deployed in Tajikistan, I don't think you would be as hesitant to put a, no i wouldn't put a marker there if, if you told me right now that united states has troops in tajikistan i wouldn't put a marker there has the u.s actively bombed tajikistan as far as i know no right where where did oh yeah for example u.s has troops u.s has troops in taiwan right now but we're not putting a big yellow on there because u.s has not actively 
bombed Taiwan in the last 40 years or involved in a war in Taiwan to defend Taiwan from China if there is an attack from China. So I'm not putting one of these guys in Taiwan. Why would I put one of those uh, for Tajikistan? No, no, I wouldn't. It has to be actively like bombing. That's what we're talking about here. Right. That's, and by the way, keep this in mind. Russia is here. This is where Russia was involved. United States is fucking here. <laughs> this is where it's involved. What the fuck? Like, wait, wait. Uh, like, how, how, where are we going? Like, what the fuck? This is Russia's neighborhood. It, where's U.S.'s neighborhood? That, that doesn't look like U.S. neighborhood to me, right? You have to take that into consideration. There's so much wrong with what we're seeing here. Like, really, anybody that gets a visual of this and doesn't get it, like, what the F? What the F? Right? Lark Park, Emmanuel Macron can go straight to hell. I'm glad an egg was thrown at him a while ago, including the time when someone was randomly going to hit him. Oh, I saw that one. The guy slapped him, I think. Cool, I'm all the way in the bottom. Reclan, oh, I don't think that's a good argument. I'm pretty sure the fact that Venezuela and Cuba are near the U.S., aren't reasons for them to do what they uh, they do to them no but this isn't really bordering venezuela is not bordering and bordering the u.s every every country that you except for afghanistan okay afghanistan was a again that was a ukraine that the united states did they were they started supporting mujahideen we talked about this mujahideen fanatics islamic fanatics in afghanistan and overthrew a communist government that was allies with Russia and the government itself asked Russia to intervene, right? That's what they did. When the United States went in there, the Afghan government didn't ask the United States to go in there, right? So there's a big difference. Like a lot of people say, oh, it's the same thing. No, Afghanistan, the only same thing with Russia invading Afghanistan and NATO, United States really invading Afghanistan the only similarity between them is Afghanistan is the empire killer, right? Afghanistan was one of the nails that put the final nail in the coffin for the USSR. And Afghanistan is a major nail, putting the nail in the coffin for the American empire, for the Western empire, right? But the difference, the big difference is this. The Afghan government at the time asked for help from Russia. As far as I remember, check into it, right? The Afghan, and Russia was there for nine years, the Afghan government after 9-11 tried to do everything to make sure the NATO forces, the United States, would not invade Afghanistan. They were fighting against them, right? Big effing difference. Big effing difference. If a nation invites you in to your country to help them, that's a big difference. So, for example, in Syria... We put this in. Russia is involved in a war here. Yes. But the Syrian government asked Russia to help them. The United States is occupying a third of Syria. And the Syrian government is telling the United States to get the fuck out. The Syrian government doesn't want the United States in Syria. The Syrian government wants Russia in Syria. So if we look at the nuances on here, we actually have to take the shit off. Right? Like... The, the the low IQ level of conversation with 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 people trying to justify this in fucking insanity is insane. Right? It's insane. Right. Rickland, oh I don't think that's a good okay, I read that one. The king, Russia is geographically closer to the most volatile part of the world than the U.S. Why is this the most volatile part of the world, right? Really, that's your justification. Russia is closer to the most volatile part of the world. Last time I checked, my great-grandmother was born in Tbilisi, Georgia. I have 
ancestry from Georgia, Tiflisi, Georgia, right? Last I checked, Georgia was not unstable. It became unstable once it was a color revolution. They tried to put them into NATO bordering Russia. So easy to demolish anyone supporting this insanity. Like it's ridiculously easy. It's like trying to take candy away from a fucking two year old. Crazy. Availability. People can cry about Russia being bad guy all they want. If Russia was really genocidal, it would have wiped Ukraine off the face of the map. This age of inform information has been doink, where to go? Has been as much a curse as it is a blessing. It's as lethal as it is helpful. Yeah. For those people that really want to put the time in, and you, you can't you can't get caught up with this, right? What what this shows just by reading, you know, doing research for a week. I know a lot of this stuff because I've been following politics for decades, for decades, right? Okay. You have to. There's a lot of armchair warriors that have come on board and fly Ukrainian flags. And you should have seen the number of arguments I got into with, with people trying to justify the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. Iraq was insane, man. I remember sitting in a pub in Vancouver with friends and stuff like this and a whole bunch of fucking low IQ dumbasses we were talking about the war what was going on and it was I was going to peace pro peace rallies trying to stop the war at least Canada's involved in invading Iraq right and we were talking about this and a bunch of yahoos across from us drinking beer right I love going to pubs like it's fucking beautiful chaos right bunch of yahoos over there turned to me and said we're gonna win we're gonna win I go what the fuck are you gonna win Right? They're like, what do you mean? I go, what the fuck are you going to go? You're going to go in there and kill a whole bunch of fucking unarmed Arabs? You idiots. You idiots. Do you know what I fucking went off on them? Right? And the last thing I said to them, I said, you fucking morons. You think this is a good thing invading Iraq? Go fucking sign up right now. Shut the fuck up. Right? My friends were like, Chicho, take it easy. I go, fuck that noise. They're about to kill fucking millions of people. And they think we're going to win? You're going to win fucking what? Right. Idiots. Idiots. Right. Rank 118 salutations. Almost fell off my chair when I read today's headline that a pro-Ukrainian group blew up Nord Stream. You know shit, the U.S. is, is pro-Ukraine. Yeah, crazy. Rickland, you cannot say that uh, and be serious. People can cry. Oh, that, yeah, you're replying to that guy. Serious. They're actively genociding Ukrainians by the letter of the law, by shipping them out and putting ethnic uh, Russians in. The only reason they haven't done it to the rest of the country is the fact that they don't uh, have control of it Crimea Cry <laughs> How are we? Crimea was only handed over in the boundary of Ukraine because of Stalin in 1954 if I recall correctly there's 95 percent Russian Russian ancestry for centuries right and because of the USSR to for the bureaucracy of it he drew the line and said, Crimea, Ukraine. We'll put it under the umbrella of Ukraine because of bureaucracy. That's what fucking bureaucracy is, right? And now people are fucking in the West. People in the West are crying foul because they think what Stalin did was right. Mass murdering fucking genocidal psychopath, Stalin, right? We in the West are waging war to get Crimea under the umbrella, the boundary of a line that a mass murdering fucking psychopath drew most likely in a drunken night. The fucking insanity of it.
fucking insanity of it. Right? <laughs> Don't you, that's, Wimmy, are you supporting WS? You gotta look at the rest of the stream. I can't go into it. We've been going off on this. We've been going off. How's our timing? We're already over time. We're already over time. Yugoslavia Wars is a sad tale. Such a sad tale. Such a sad tale. Brainwashed. I was at 1.2 in Yugoslavia, by the way. Oh, whole four weeks. I remember going to a local pub and I had some Serbian friends and Yugoslavian friends and Croatian friends in this pub. A conversation went and I was like, I know I'm being lied to. Uh, so I sat down at a table and asked them what's going on. And they explained it to me. Right? And they explained it to me. Rickland, I'm going to read this. Uh, you might not have noticed, Chicho, but Ukraine did not go to war with Russia over its invasion of Crimea, no, nor did NATO. I agree that if the Crimeans voted for it, they should be part of Russia. However, Russia invaded the rest of Ukraine while saying they would... Um, da, 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 where is it? They were only taking over the DPR and the uh, LPR and then killing the people there uh, to regardless of... Uh, no, the, the coup in 19, in two, uh, 2014 is huge, man. It's fucking huge. When they came in and then the U Ukrainian Nazis bur burned Russians alive in a building. They started attacking the East. Because the East wanted to do what Crimea did. They didn't even want to do what Crimea did. Crimea voted to join Russia. The Eastern Ukraine just wanted autonomy, partial autonomy. And they wanted to speak their own language. And then the, the Western Ukraine said, oh, Crimea is ours too. This is ours. No, 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 no. You can't rewrite history like that, man. Uh, availability. Ukraine's army was dog shit. That's why Merkel kept lying to the Russians about working things out. She only recently said it was to buy time to rearm Ukraine to fight Russia. Yeah. They were just building it, building it for eight years, funding funding it through billions of dollars from Western taxpayer money to do this war. Everybody knows that now. Cheryl got to run. Yeah, me too. Gotta call it. Gotta call it. Gotta go teach some mathematics. Have a great weekend, everyone. You too, Cheryl. Thank you for staying. Uh, thank you for being here. Gang, let's call the stream. Thank you for being here. Uh, sometimes I go off. Sometimes I don't. I went off a little bit. Um, a little too much maybe but we did what we did gang thank you for being here if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon on substack on twitch on sensor tube and all of our other platforms thank you for your support thank you for being here thank you for the discussion uh, mods 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 salute 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 thank you for being here and taking care of business uh, and we're gonna take a break from this map for the next little while because we did the micro we did as much of the macro as we could uh, we discussed it we saw what people thought the different things and we're going to come back to this map as soon as things shift a little bit. And they're about to shift, hopefully for the better, hopefully not for the worse. But I fear it's going to go for the worse. Uh, so most likely we'll come back to this map, hopefully in a few months instead of a few weeks. I don't want things to shift that fast. Um, but we'll see. And we're going to start doing some of the other live streams more uh, that we've been doing, such as uh, it's springtime. I'm going to go get some cigars. I'm going to go sit in the patio. Have a few drinks, liqueurs, comic books, uh, cooking, uh, if we can manage the time. Uh, we'll do uh, current events. We're going to do more mathematics and whatnot. Uh, I hope this is giving you a good picture of what's going on in the world, where we're headed. Hopefully not where we're headed. We've had people that have disagreed with us, people who have supported us. We've had different mindsets presented. I hope you do your own research and decide for yourself. Uh, where this is all going and where you want to be. Okay.
aside from that gang i hope you have a fantastic next few days i'm going to upload the mass stream and segments of it and i'll break up this one too and upload some segments and we'll we'll do live streams uh this coming weekend as well and we'll try to keep that going um and i hope you have a fantastic fantastic next few days gang bye everyone <laughs>